All right, folks, um, I screwed up. <sighs> well, for my use case, I screwed up. And if you're in my kind of boat, in my kind of situation, then maybe you're in the same boat and maybe you screwed up too. I don't know. Let's figure this out, okay? The Mac Studio was just announced and I never thought that this would happen. I never thought that Apple would actually release a computer that cost the same amount that I paid for my MacBook Pro sitting in front of me on my desk, closed with monitors hooked up to it. I think you know where this is going, right? The <laughs> Mac Studio is two times more powerful than this MacBook Pro. And Apple did this within a span of five months. And I thought that by buying the maxed out M1 Max MacBook Pro that I was future proofing myself somehow for at least a couple of years. Since usually the next most powerful product that they launch is the Mac Pro after the MacBook Pro. And yeah, the iMac is gone now, so um, that's what we got. And the Mac Pro carries a much heavier price tag than I'm willing to pay anyway. So I thought, here we go, this was gonna be my machine. So even though my MacBook Pro, this is my daily driver, and it's got the M1 Max chip in it, it's only a few months old, it still might be on Craigslist pretty soon. By the way, if you're not in the United States, Craigslist is like a marketplace where we sell our used stuff, or like new stuff. So yeah, I've ordered the Mac Studio with the M1 Ultra chip, not the M1 Max chip, and I'll be doing some comparisons on this channel, so hit that like button if you want to see that. Now, I wanted to show you this, what I got, and the equivalent specs in the Mac Studio, and I think uh, this will speak for itself, and then I'll go into why I think this was a mistake for me. Here on the Apple site, I selected the 16 inch, uh, you got the Pro and Pro and the Max option, there's the Max option starting at $3,499, starting at, whereas the Mac Studio starts at $1,999, so it's already $1,500 more, all right? I'm gonna configure it the way I did. So I got 64 gigs, that's plus 400 bucks. I got two terabytes of storage, another 400 bucks, and I didn't get anything else. Look at this total. Just for those two items, $4,299. Yeah, uh, it all happened so fast, I, uh, I spent $4,299 on this thin piece of metal that sits on my desk. Don't get me wrong, this machine is amazing. It's probably, well, it is the f the best laptop I've ever had. It's close to the best computer I've ever had. I still love my 2014 iMac, but as far as my tasks that I need to do, this machine destroys my iMac in time. So I do uh, mobile applications, iOS and Android. The build times are just insanely fast on this thing. And I made some videos comparing the build times. You can check that out on the channel. I also do web applications and of course uh, building a huge project with uh, NX workspaces, for example, just as an example, takes a significantly less amount of time on the M1 Max than it did on the Intel Core i7, I think it was, back in the day. Well, not back in the day, as recently as um, October, I was still building on my iMac. So yeah, I'm getting some good use out of this, but I'm really looking forward to that Mac Studio because that's gonna be two times faster, or I should say the Geekbench scores are two times higher for the multi-core performance. And I just recently put out a benchmark video about that. Does that translate to two times the speed? No, it doesn't, but I'm gonna test that out. I'm gonna see how much faster it's gonna be for my particular workflows. Anyway, I think it's gonna be a win, especially given how I use my MacBook Pro right now. Now, we are at the end of this very crazy time right now. If you told me that two years ago, when this whole thing started, there was a choice between a MacBook Pro and a Mac Studio. That's a no-brainer. Of course, probably the MacBook Pros wouldn't have sold so well compared to the Mac Studio. Now, it's a little bit different. Things are getting better in the world. Well, uh, as far as one thing, then there's the other thing. <sighs> but now we can at least do a little bit of traveling and things are getting somewhat back to normal for most of the world. So a laptop actually makes a lot of sense now, but I work mostly at home and most of the work I do right now is at home. I haven't taken on any in-person training jobs or anything like that. I do all my training remotely. I do my development remotely. So for me, this is my office. This is where I sit. You've seen it many times on this channel. This is where I do my work too, not only my videos. So uh, sitting here in my desk, sitting at a closed MacBook Pro is, uh, Seems a little wasteful, doesn't it? So let me show you the difference here now in the price. If I would have went with a Mac Studio with the same exact specs. So there is the Mac Studio. I'm gonna order this now and I'm gonna configure it with the M1 Max. 
All right, 32 GPU, 16 core neural net engine, 10 core CPU, that's this one. Not the lowest end one, so that's the next one up. It's already raising the price by 200 bucks. Then 64 gigs is gonna be an extra 400 bucks and then two terabytes plus 600 bucks. By the way, 512 gigabytes, come on. You shouldn't be getting that these days unless you're permanently attached to a NAS. That's network attached storage for those that don't know. Two terabytes matches exactly my MacBook Pro specs and look at that price. 3,199 compared to 4,299, that's $1,100 difference. And I can get two pretty nice monitors for 1,100 bucks, but that's not all. Okay, that's not the only difference. The Mac Studio has, look at this, it has four Thunderbolt four ports on the back and two USB-A ports on the front and an ethernet port. My MacBook Pro doesn't have that. MacBook Pro only has three ports total and that's it. There's no ethernet, there's no USB-A ports. So I have to buy an extra thingy. I have the OWC dock here, very nice little unit. I'll link to it down below if you wanna see that. That's what I'm running my monitors through so I'm not wasting extra ports, but I'm constantly plugging things in and out of it. Like my sound card, my dongles, <laughs> my little hard drive, my portable hard drive. Now I was about to start using this thing too, which is the bigger OWC Thunderbolt dock. So when you're buying all these Thunderbolt docks, in addition to the MacBook Pro, that adds up. I think the smaller one is uh, 180 bucks and the bigger one is 300 50 bucks, something like that. That's a lot of money. So the Mac Studio is gonna give you all that expansion and a 10 gigabyte ethernet, which I don't get here. So right now my ethernet speed is not that great. I'm gonna do a speed test. This is recording my MacBook Pro, by the way. Look at this. I have a gigabit up and a gigabit down, supposedly here. And this is all I get because I'm connected through Wi-Fi. Now, of course, I could plug in a cable, go th and take up another USB port, and then I'd get probably 800 down and 800 up. This seems like it's enough for me for what I need. Of course, it'd be nice to have faster speed, but I'll get that by hooking up an ethernet cable once I get the Mac Studio in here. So kind of looking forward to that. Now, what am I gonna do with my MacBook Pro? Um, I don't know, I might do some more tests with it, some comparisons, and then I might put it on Craigslist, like I said. Now, what MacBook Studio did I end up getting? Well, I thought, hey, this is new, might as well go for the Ultra. So I went with the Ultra, 48 core, not 64 core GPU. I went with 64 gigabytes of unified memory, not 128, and I went with two terabytes of storage. So now I'm at $43.99 compared to $42.99, which is only $100 more for the Ultra for my Mac Studio. I'm just gonna put it in here. I'm gonna use the same monitors, same exact setup, and I'm gonna plug an ethernet cable into it. Everything else I've already had. I have a mouse, I have one of these things. So if you're a user like me, then getting a MacBook Pro in the last few months might have been something you kind of felt like you had to do to get the most performance. But now I feel kind of like, that was a big waste. Now, of course, if you're gonna be traveling and you only need one machine, then you gotta get the MacBook Pro, right? I'm not doing any of that. And maybe in a year or so, I'll be singing a different song. And I'm not opposed to changing my mind and doing different things every year. That's fine. But right now, I feel like since I'm at home, Mac Studio is the way for me to go. But of course, I'm gonna hook it up. I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna see how things go with it. And um, I'll let you know. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.